and welcome back to my channel. You can see that I have my whole room on display. I, one thing I do need to fill it with is how to make the camera more static for you guys because right now, every single time I move in my room, that cat camera moves with me. So, <laughs> like my poses. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to bring you an interesting video of how to make your character move for free. There you go. So for a while now, I've been trying to figure out how to do full body tracking, but now that I moved my recording space into its own room, I can actually feel comfortable doing this and showing you guys. Um, so I was looking at different places that offer this. This was one of the websites that I came across that talked about full body tracking. This guy had created this software and it actually works really well. I was playing around with it, you probably saw already. Um, so you can get it on booth, it's completely free if you, get, if you want to get the free version. And there is also an iOS version as well, so for you Apple lovers, you have a version for you. So there is some computer optimizations here, um, I'll just move slightly so you can see that. Perfect, yeah. So that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of computer you need to run this. You probably can have like an iOS 5, but don't quote me on that. He was clearly using an iOS 7. Um, I mean, a Core i5, but don't quote me on that because he was clearly using an iCore 7. Um, that can just change maybe slightly depending on how your graphics card and everything else is. But yeah, so you're gonna click on this link, it's gonna bring you to here, so booth. So there is a free version, you click on that, it'll download. When you download it, there's no setup process necessary, other than you just click to run the file. It brings you up to this window. It usually is opened up to this character. He also added himself in it, which is kind of funny. So you'll see that when you wanna add your character, you press add, you type in your file, you find your character that way. You can also make changes and tweaks to your character model. I put my character in already. Um, you can change different file types. So you can either do a, like a uh, movie file, which means that if you have a video of yourself already pre-recorded, like your physical body pre-recorded, doing an activity, you can, it will take that video footage, create a, um, a mask uh, based on your body movements and then put it onto your character which is pretty cool um, and then you can do live footage which is what we're gonna do today and then I will show you how to configure everything else after so you can also use it for like streaming purposes or whatever you plan on doing so in the future so let's get set up the things I'm gonna use for my setup I have two webcams so I'm gonna use both of them and I'll explain why later. Generally, you only need one webcam to do the software, but the only reason why I'm using two is because I wanna use the face tracking with VC face. So I'm gonna disconnect this first, so that way you can see what the full body tracking looks like, and then I will pull this back up. Okay, so as you can see, it is struggling to find a normal position because it has no idea and is trying to guess where the rest of my body is. So I'm gonna stand up. Because it doesn't know where my feet are, there we go, now it has my feet. So now it can pick up what I physically look like and put me in different poses. I forgot that it's actually tracking my poses. <laughs> so now I'm gonna open up BC Face. So VC face, you have your thing here because we are already using that webcam. I have a second webcam already attached, so I'm going to select the second webcam. Press start, so that way it allows the character to be in this time and space here. All right. So now you're going to link the two together. How to link the two together? We're going to go to the three poses, 3D poses. So you're going to go to configure, go to other. You're gonna look at your code here. So you have your IP address and then your port. So now you're gonna match this information 
with the information provided from BC face. So to find BC faces, you go to settings, general settings, sorry, yep, settings, general settings, scroll down until you get to this section right here. You're gonna click on the second one. So it's gonna disable information. If you're not sure if it's the right information, you're gonna click on the show. It's gonna pull up your IP address and you just need the last four rows of three numbers and then your port ID. And you're gonna place that inside of your studio here, I mean your 3D poses tracker here. So then once those are linked, so if it's working, you'll see that your character will be in a T pose position, but the facial tracking won't move or anything until you switch over and fully connect the two characters. Let's see if that actually worked. Yep, she is back. Walk around the space. For whatever reason, if you want to stop using the full body tracking and you just want to go back to your normal face tracking and normal VTubing experience, you could always just toggle this button and it goes right back to where she left off. So some tips and tricks to using this software. Number one, uh, make sure you use the correct uh, IP address. If they are off by just a single number, it's not going to work, so make sure you have that inputted properly as well as the port number. So take your information from here, VC face, and put it into the other one. Um, if your character does not start off in that T pose like I just demonstrated before, earlier, then you know there's something off. That's another thing to know that if something's wrong. Sec third, um, you can't use your leap motion if you do have one. So you can only use two cameras, which would be your face tracking. So my mouth being able to move, my expressions, being able to be displayed as well as my body tracking. So um, using the one camera for your body tracking and then the other camera is for face. But you cannot use your leap motion, so you're gonna be stuck with your little high five hands and there's no wrist tracking in that software. So that's the only downside to that. But other than that, it's free software. You can't go wrong with it. I'm really grateful that there's people out there that are willing to create stuff like that for free and let other people experience these cool things. So if you like this video, send me a like, put a push that like button and also leave a comment down below if you found this video helpful at all or if you have any other questions regarding this software, other software related to Vroid. Also, one thing I did forget to teach you guys, if you don't know how already, you can also press the alt control and scroll reel yourself so that allows you to look around your space obviously I made a 3d room if you want to learn how I did that I can show you in another video but it allows you to have this cool space and move around in so yeah if you press alt click zoom with the scroll wheel left and right does movement and yeah um, so if you are using a 3d space like I am right now your camera is gonna be glued to your character so every single time so if I'm moving like this it's fine but as soon as I move my feet the camera is gonna move so that's one thing to keep in mind I haven't figured out how to keep the camera stationary so I apologize for any motion sickness that you may have in the near future <laughs> watching this video hopefully you don't but I'll see you in the next one bye